don't believe in God. You don't believe in God? No. Why? Why? Can I ask you why? Yeah, I didn't study it. I mean, my, mom, my mom didn't make us, you know, practice. So that's my dad's belief. And so that's okay. I grew up like, uh. Say it again? I said I never believed in God and nothing happened to me. Nothing so happened for you? Go get a job. A job don't get for me and that. So get, okay, make some sense. Uh, listen, there's all these religions out here has confused our people. Mm -hmm. They're not teaching you what God really is. Right. And it's right here, all in our faces. And we don't pick up the book and read. You can't just say. Good. So, no, my, how you doing, my sister? If you have any questions, I got you. Say, say it again. Oh, say your brothers and sisters. How about you? I don't believe in God. You don't I believe in God? No. Why? Why? Can I ask you why? What? What purpose? I'm going to show you. Uh, give me Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Say it again. I said I never believed in God and nothing happened for me. Nothing happened for you? Go get a job. A job don't get for me and that. So get, okay, make some sense. Uh, listen, there's all these religions out here has confused our people. Mm -hmm. They're not teaching you what God really is. Right. And it's right here all in our faces. And we don't pick up the book and read. You can't just say you don't believe in God. You say that because man convinced you that you, there's no God. But I'm going to show you that there is a God. Oh, I'm listening. Yeah, 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 yeah. How you doing, my brother? I remember you from a while ago. Yeah, dude. How you doing? Yes, yes. How you doing, my brother? Good. Nice right. to see you again. Watch this. Watch. This is the book of Hosea. Chapter 5, verse 15. Bring it out. I will go and return to my place. So God says he's going to turn our backs on us because we turn our backs on him. Watch. Why? Why? Two, they acknowledge their offense. He wants you to acknowledge that you're wrong. Watch. And seek my face in their affliction. In us getting gunned down. In us on um, single parent household. Right. In us in this high rent. Right. In all this affliction our people go through. What's he, what he wants you to do? They will seek me early. He wants you to look for him. That's what he wants. So watch this. I'm, I want to show you an example to show you. Let me do the line in 2860. This Bible. You know, know. This book right here. Watch this. Watch this. This book right here. Hey, this book, sister. This book right here was written thousands of years ago. Believe it or not. Watch. And I'm going to show you how was this written down thousands of years ago and, it ha and it's history now. Watch. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. Watch this. Listen, listen, listen. I I'm going to get your question next. Hold on. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Egypt. So God says he's going to bring a people into the Israelites, into Egypt again. Watch. You got that for you. Exodus chapter 20 verse 2. What does Egypt mean? It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a country in Africa, yes. But what does God mean when he says Egypt? I am the Lord thy God, which hath brought thee out of the land of Egypt, uh -huh. out of the house of bondage. Egypt means the house of slavery. Right. So when he says Egypt, slavery. So go back. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. He says he's going to bring a people into slavery. God, is, watch. Again. Again. With ships. Who went into slavery on ships? That's us. Right? This is written 3,000 years ago. Can a man write down, okay, all of these people and this specific people right here. Is gonna go on slavery on slave ships in three thousand years. Could that happen? Is that possible that a man could do that? Oh, a man like you and me, bring it up. Is that possible, my brother? There go your question. No, there's a question. My brother gonna be like, I wanna, I wanna ask a question because um, I remember at one time. Uh, I, no, no, I'm gonna ask. I just want to deal. I understand. They read a lot of scripture. I just want to deal. I just want to deal with. I just want to deal with something major with them. Okay. So let him ask his question because he got to go somewhere. But you know, I got time. Okay. What you want to go? What did we do? 
I think I, I think I. You've been here before. We, I think we answered this question, but I'm, I'm free to ask you. Okay. What, what did we do that, that, that let us, that, um, that turn, um, God against us. Yeah. That, that Baruch, said. Baruch chapter four. We have to. No, you know why? You know, you know, I'm gonna tell you why. Because I could be a liar. You don't know that. I didn't say that. I, I know you didn't say that. You want to hear your opinion? That's the thing. See, yes, because the thing is, because the thing is, you tell him to go to I'm gonna tell you why. So you can just tell me. You don't have to. You don't have to read the scripture. He has to. All right, then I see you guys later. I know you got the answer. I'll but it's gonna it's gonna take the same amount of time. It's gonna take the same amount of time as me telling you my opinion. Right. Okay. So I'll answer his question as he's walking away. So All right. Give it to me. Chapter four. I want you to go. Uh, six. Read verse six. This is the book of Baruch, chapter four, verse six. Bring it so up. he said, "What did we do?" that God put us in slavery, right? Go ahead. Ye were sold to the nations, not for your destruction. God didn't want us, wanted to destroy us through slavery. He didn't want that. But the reason why we all, blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, why we went into slavery is this the answer. But because ye moved God to wrath. How do we piss God off so much that he put us in slavery? We went into idolatry, we went into fornication, adultery, we broke the commandments. Systematically, as a group, we broke his commandments. Right. Correct. That's the reason why. Right. And all we have to do is repent and start keeping the commandments as a collective. And that way, he's going to defend us and take us out of the conditions that we're in. All right? Now. You, you, made, you made a mention that you don't believe in God. You know something? As a Catholic, at one point in my Catholic religion, I didn't believe in God. Because nobody was giving me answers to the questions that I had. Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verse 4. Watch out. Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verse 3. If the clouds be full of rain, they empty themselves upon the earth. Who can empty a cloud that's full of rain? You ever thought about that? The art is all nice and whatever. The sun will be out and the next thing you know, it's rain out. Yo! Ain't the sun out? Who made it rain? Probably told me or I'll say. Or the weatherman said. Well, sometimes the weatherman be saying a whole bunch of stuff and it don't happen the way the weatherman said it. It's God that can draw the rain out of a cloud. That's right. Read on. And if the tree fall toward the south or toward the north, in the place where the tree falleth, there shall it be. No one knows how a tree falls. Read it again. He that observeth the wind shall not sow, and he that regardeth the clouds shall not reap. So if you're paying attention to what does the wind look like, you ain't gonna you ain't gonna work because you're more focused on trying to identify or trying to discredit that God exists. That's what the meteorologists do. That's what Jacques Cousteau did. They're trying. They're not. They're not. They don't give a damn about the fish in the sea. They're trying to measure the earth. All right. Read on. Yes. Yeah. As thou knowest not, what is the way of the spirit? You don't know. The ways of the spirit. It's gonna go. It's gonna go. Uh, it's gonna go to how you got pregnant, how you grow a baby, and all that. Watch this, because you don't know the way of the spirit. Because again, you got four children, four different personalities, four different spirits. Watch this. As thou knowest not what is the way of the spirit, nor how the bones do grow in the womb of her. That is with child. Mm. Look at this. You understand? So you don't, you, you can't, you can't figure out what kind of child you're gonna have. Excuse me. You can't figure out, you can't figure out what kind of, you can't figure out how it grows, uh, the baby grows in your body. Only God does that. Right. Right. You know? Even so, thou knowest not the works of God. You don't know the works of God. Right. You know? Who maketh all in the morning sow the seed, and in the evening withhold not thine hand. 
For thou knowest not whether they shall prosper either this or that, or whether they both shall be alike good. So we don't even know how the plants grow. You get you go you go to the supermarket right away. Get yourself some corn, some potatoes, carrots, celery, some uh, chicken. Make yourself some chicken soup. Boom. So you don't know how God provided the chicken and the vegetables and the water that you're drinking. God did all that. So for us to 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 discredit that God exists, it's kind of it's kind of strange. Now, do you believe in the Bible? My, my dad was Muslim, so we grew up in a semi-Muslim household, and my okay. mom was Christian. Right. Right. No, I didn't study it. Okay. Yeah, my, mom, my mom didn't make us, you know, practice, so that was my dad's belief, and sure, that's okay. I grew up like, uh. Don't study the Quran. Right. However. Right. <laughs> don't study the Quran? Yeah, don't study the Quran, because that has nothing to do with you. Right. But what I'm trying to show you is that the Quran has nothing to do with us. You didn't learn it because God didn't put that spirit in you to learn it. But look, he did put the spirit in you to stand right here. That's right. right. Uh, How long did you be here? 20 minutes? I mean, How knowledge long? is the key, so you know. But the thing is, I love knowledge. Is that you didn't expect this to happen today. I mean, I see y'all all the time. I understand. But I just, oh what I'm saying is, I'm showing you that God exists. I know, my brother's like, you need to come and be as well you're supposed to be. I know, I know. Right. And I just keep on. Let me bring my brother back up. All praises, all praises. All right, so you see, you understand? Now, sister, let's go back to Hosea 515. So this is what, basically what he's saying. All this suffering that you're going through, that each of us are going through, God just wants you to look for him. Right. You understand? He put that in your spirit for a reason, because before, I was a Catholic, you understand? And that, and, and that, those man teachings have brought me to the fact like, yo, this God that they're talking about, I don't think this God really is, exists, you understand? But until I was introduced to the Israelites, and they showed me word by word that this Bible, that God exists and he loves us. And these are, this is the reason that why our people is going through hell, is because we're not listening to him. Hey, shalom brothers, shalom sisters, Bishop Nathaniel here. That's right, you know what day it is. It's Shout Out Tuesday. It is Shout Out Tuesday. And I pray you brothers and sisters join me every Tuesday afternoon on IUIC Events channel, where I will be reading your kind and inspirational letters, also thanking you for your kind donations, and also covering very important biblical information for the mental well-being of our 12 tribes. That's right, 12 tribes worldwide. So hope to see you then, every Tuesday afternoon on IUIC Events. Shalom. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.